those are the most exciting ones for me because I get to sit there and I get to pour through the vast amounts of lore. I get to go, you know, through the Blizzard library and historians and yeah. talk to the development team. The Heroes of the Storm team, a lot of the top developers, um, or what, uh, like the senior developers, have been working and created these uh, heroes originally and sitting down with them and being like, how did you create this? Yeah. Why did you make these decisions? And what can we do with it now? It's a fantastic experience. Right. I'm pretty sure everyone is going to look up on... Uh, on the Googles, which blue dragon aspects exist now? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so guys, we're gonna we're gonna play a very important game now because I told you I was on my way, on my path to become a Hanzo main. Oh, uh, and this, this is, is where it all starts. This is my first game of Hanzo ever. Square one. All right. Yeah. Let's do this. So, Let what do you know about Hanzo now? I do play him, or I did play him in Overwatch. Mm -hmm. So I know the fundamentals, let's put it this way, but I have no idea, for example, what the second durability is going to be. So oh, it's a the fun Dragon one. Strike, everybody knows, is like a like a big AoE damaging ability that moves towards uh, the direction you yep. aim it. But here, that's the important part. He's Dragon's a, Arrow. He well, is an ulti the ultimate long-ranged assassin. Mm, uh, sounds good to me. Dragon's Arrow is a global-ranged arrow where... It does damage mm -hmm. and stun, and based upon the length of time you you uh, or how far it travels, the damage Ooh. and the stun duration uh, go up. Okay, okay. And I think you know what, guys, we're we're, we're going to use quick cast, but on release because I'm Final not sure. Has been tested again. Um, Ain't nothing wrong with on release, man. There exactly. No it's actually what I recommend to all the new players. Like you don't need, you know, you can turn it off, but. Um, on release is the way to go because you can still see how long the range is. Oh, oh! You Never can charge up your your Q and then and walk around with it. Boom. Very nice. All right, guys. So dragon arrow, dragon's arrow. You heard about it. The longer uh, it flies, the more damage and the longer the stun is going to be. Pretty cool. I think we're actually going to test that out right at the get go. And I think his trade is natural agility. So you can target unpathable terrains like walls here, for example, or gaps. Mm -hmm. um, and you can jump to the other side of it. You know what? We're going to try that. And we're going to take a look. Ooh. That's pretty cool. I think it's definitely better with the, with the zoom out so you can yeah. see the, the leap. We're going we're gonna to try it again. He does a really, really... Uh, Michael Cuevas did the animation on this. It's one of it's so beautiful and so fluid. Uh, so okay. he's got a little bit of Genji there. A little bit of, uh, you know, jumping over terrain and looking good while, while doing it. Well, it w if he ha uh, has that interaction with the terrain around him, with his scatter arrow and the and the natural agility, as you can see, as you get close oh. to the terrain, you can actually yeah. see that, that what you can interact with. That's so good. And so, uh, it's again a fun I thing that we could bring in that you wouldn't necessarily have seen in Overwatch because you always see him from the first person perspective, um, and otherwise maybe you are just getting. I nice I also by noticed arrow. I also noticed Lana that his attack animation is very slow, but you can really see how he takes aim. Yeah. It, it fits the it fits the marksman theme. So he has a very slow auto attack animation, and I think the idea is that you really want to work the, uh, his auto attacks in with his basic abilities. Yeah. So you want to throw an auto attack, charge up your storm bow, throw a storm bow, auto attack again, use, use oh. scatter shot. Whoa, dang. Use the scatter shot, and you want to really bounce it off terrain yeah. and try and get sort of like that shotgun effect. Yeah. You bounce it and get all five shots on one person does an incredible amount of burst damage. Yeah, his auto attacks are really hard. I like it. So, speaking of scattershot, that's his W, and you can really see um, where it scatters off. So if you hover over it, let's actually aim it a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you can really see, oh, yep, there we go. So it would hit someone standing on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So that's really cool. So in choke points, this ability can be really powerful. Yeah, absolutely. If somebody's standing too close to a wall, you know, those chromies that are going to oh. try and hide from you. So good. Yeah. So good. So you can good. also so lethal. You can also invent new techniques of wave clear if you just aim at the wall first and then you hit all the minions. Absolutely. That's so cool. Let's take another it's look at that. It's definitely a very, that. very different uh, yeah. play style. Definitely feels online. very different, very unique from oh. me. There it is. That's oh, the it's jump. It's a pleasure. Woo. Okay. We're going to hit the trainer a little bit. Oh, man. He's, he's lining himself up. Oh. Yeah. And then his E, of course, is uh, a little bit of a more of a utility ability yep. because it provides vision, the sonic arrow. Sonic arrow, and if you hit somebody with it, uh, they continue to provide vision. If you hit the crowd, it'll stay there and provide vision in the arrow. But if you hit somebody, they're actually stuck with the arrow, and they, wherever they're going, they're, they're also providing vision okay. as well. Okay. So to talk about the talents, guys, I don't think we're going to have enough time, so I'm just going to try to, let's see, 
basic attacks instantly kill minions increase the range. So you instantly kill a minion with it and you increase the range as well. That sounds good to me. Let's give that one a try. So if you want to glow, you can just one shot it. Oh, oh, oh. Without minion. Here we go. Poor minions. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Okay, let's see if we can. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, keep in mind is, that this is where the oh. Sonic arrow is really good, so you yeah. can line yourself up and you can get yourself the vision of the whole point there. Let's see if we can use the scattering arrow. There. there we go, hit two. We're we gonna charge up the Q. Keep in mind, I, I saw that the Q can get intercepted by minions and such. So if someone stands, oh, that Rainer is out of position. But if something stands in your path, um, you're not gonna hit the target you want to. So especially Noobrek with those beetles can get really tricky. Yes, yeah. You have to. He's really going to be highly about your positioning, making yeah. sure that you have your shots lined up and you're able to stand in position where you can utilize the terrain around you to make sure that you're you're catching. Oh, do you, you see the range? Mark. We actually hit the the protector from so far away. It's really nice. You know what? We're gonna take a, a shortcut here. Jump over the terrain. <laughs> it's so sweet. Let's actually take a look at Hanzo's animations here as well. Um, the dance. Oh, how would how would Hanzo dance? So the dance, I think, is a really good job on the part of Michael Cuevas, where in Overwatch, it's a Japanese fisherman dance. Okay. And in our game, wow. if you continue to watch that dance, this is a continuation of the same dance that he does in Overwatch. Wow. So it's like uh, he's just dancing So forever. if you start playing Overwatch in the morning, you yeah. try out the <laughs> dance, and then you you know continue with Heroes of the Storm at lunch, yep. you're going to be able to dance the whole thing. Dance, dance the whole day through. It's beautiful. Cool. What and then his taunt yep. is pretty slick. You'll I'm gonna go here. It's uh, just the right amount of attitude. Well done. Oh. Got to brush that shoulder off. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, I can always, I can always feel the Hanzo <laughs> in in me. I, I'm gonna play him a lot more. I'm not a I'm not a ranged assassin main normally. What is your favorite type of hero? Uh, you mentioned Lucio. Lucio, I'm a support main. Support. Uh, main. Support main, but I also play a lot of warriors. Just uh, because that's normally the role that. You're like, for some reason, it's not really that popular. It's oftentimes uh -huh. the main tanks or the warriors that are left to be picked. Yeah. And I was like, okay, so, you know what? Let's just do it. I think the tricky and thing then about him. <laughs> I think the tricky thing about him is Very because, well. like, a lot of people, when they are channeling it or <laughs> preparing an ability or they launch an ability, they stop in their tracks. And you'll hit the Q and expect you. yourself to sort of aim and be I ready. See. He keeps moving. So it's really easy yeah. to get yourself out of position with yeah. Hanzo, I find. And if you if you kill a minion here, you can really see the bow. Like, it, it automatically aims at the next minion that mm -hmm. is nearby. So it's not like Hanzo was dripping <laughs> yeah. around. Yeah. No, he's got his target in his sights. He's ready to go. He's a, he's cool. a true assassin. So um, we're going to skip that question, uh, and we're going to go for 440 music, or 440 music. Attack animations uh, can have a big impact on player's performance, mm -hmm. uh, especially when stutter stepping, you know, like yeah. attack, move, attack, move. So is it no, challenging to really um, get that in, 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 in unison sometimes? Because if you think back to Lonara, for example, mm -hmm. when she was released, uh, the attack animation sometimes interfered with the stutter stepping, resulting in players not being able to attack and not spreading the poison. Mm -hmm. I think um, Lunara was a is a is a good example of you know again. I think I mentioned this Blizzard. We are definitely trying to learn and grow, and yeah. as such, we are we're trying to push boundaries. We it's fun because it, it means we are not afraid to sometimes take these risks. Yeah. However, um, not everything always goes right the first time. Yeah. And so once that's released, maybe it's not something we notice in the, in the game, but that's why the community of feedback is so important because we're only so many people and testing it and testing it and testing yeah. it. We're not going to play the game like you're going to play the game, like he's going to play the game, like she's going to play the game. And uh, it was really great to get that kind of feedback Just and it, so it cool. helped us in the future to avoid uh, similar problems. I was going to say, I, ever since Lenara was released, I can't remember of anything similar. So yeah. you guys did a, did a good job. Thanks. Hey, I saw a really cool talent, uh, shield breaker arrows. And that's something the community really wanted. More shield breaking, mm -hmm. um, shield diminishing um, abilities. So if we, wait, basic attacks and storm bow deal 300% bonus damage to shields on heroic targets. So no minions, no objectives, just heroes. Mm -hmm. You know what? We're going to take that. Um, Trick buff protector has Sacred shields, so we yep. can use that for sure. It's a really good. Anubrek. Yep. It's a cool. really good opportunity. It's cool. Man, I, 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 I love that talent. Super cool. Um, Kent Eric uh, did a really fantastic job mm -hmm. with the design of him. Uh, there was the hero deep dive panel where he talked a lot about what it took to to get him balanced. Ooh. 
Uh, no, nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. I'm fine. learning. It's the first try. This is your first attempt at Hanzo Maiden. Yeah, exactly. Um, and you're still, man, you're still in the lead. They don't even have their heroics yet. You are good to go. Here we go. Um, but the Hero Deep Dive panel that happened, if, you, if folks saw it uh, here, it was today at 1 p.m. on the Mythic stage. Otherwise, definitely on the version of Ticket. He talks so much about uh, what it took to get to with Hanzo. And he's got some very interesting information regarding power pies. Yeah. That, uh, but definitely was worth uh, hearing from, from him than it is for me to find. Very nice. So you can really see how we're crushing that group action. Look at that. One attack yeah, mission has gone. 170 extra damage, which is nothing to be sneezed at. Yeah, for sure. Okay, to be careful here. The enemy's auto is a good answer. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Alex Rasa is now going to use her ulti. Two kills. Yeah. So Artanis died a little bit earlier because he got a little bit too overzealous with that swap, so we probably shouldn't have fought there. But let's see. We can, Hanzo really excels at those poke. Poke Wars, too. We're going to drop a little bit of vision here. Yeah, nice animation on that arrow, by the way. Beautiful. Beautiful job. I'm, I'm trying to remember right now who the effects artist was for Hanzo. Yeah. So we're going to try to land something here in a stun. Maybe on the other hand zone. Let's see. Boom. It. it was a pretty short stun, though, because he was not that far away. But it was a direct hit. It was a direct hit. Boom. That's no more shoots for you, buddy. And the no cooldown's not you. super, super long on that guy. Um, uh, 60 seconds or 60 yeah. seconds or something. Okay. Good hooks coming in. Ooh, the enemy Hanzo hit us hard there. So we basically got a taste of our own medicine. Yeah, when you get that scatter shot and you get all five arrows on yeah, someone, it really huge. does a huge amount of damage. Cool. And you can really see how the low cooldown on Stormbow, as you said, really allows fancy plays like auto attacks, Q. Auto attack. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. It takes a bit of getting yeah. used to, but as soon as you have it, like the in the right hands, I've definitely had a couple play tests where wow. somebody's face really go. Oh, so oh. amazing. Nice. Oh, that was a beautiful, beautiful. one by by Stitches as well. Rest in peace, Rhaegar. Nicely done. Nicely done. Rainer's at the bottom, so I think we can just damage this protector. Next question. Oh, we're almost at the bottom already. Ooh. Time flies. Uh, Tarp Licious and others were asking. Uh, me to basically tell you that you're amazing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's not a question, but I appreciate that very much. Oh goodness! All right. Oh, I'm blushing. <laughs> it's hot in here. Good job, guys. That's what we want to have. We want to see those emotions. All right. Gosh, what was it? so? What was your favorite announcement? Did you see anything from the 2018 gameplay update? Other, I know you mentioned you saw the region yeah. gloves earlier. Oh yes. Uh, what else have you taken a look at that you are personally? All Blizzard games or like just that? heroes? Well, heroes, I heroes? guess. Heroes. Uh, for heroes, I'm really excited about. Uh, first of all, the camera change. I think, especially for a hero like Hanzo, where you really need to aim very carefully. Uh, nobody saw that, guys. <laughs> don't don't lull at me. I did just walk <laughs> into that laser beam. Come on. Uh, no, but. Um, the, the vision is so important because I play a lot of supports mm -hmm. and oftentimes when you play heroes like Ana or even if it's just like a Zarya, um, you can really spot allies a lot quicker now and you can land your abilities or aim your abilities quite more precisely. So. Yeah. That's uh, my favorite. Also, the, man, uh, the, the progression system. The performance-based oh, matchmaking. It's so good. It is fantastic. Mm, I was I very... Fortunate that I got to work with those guys and I helped design the PowerPoint. And I felt guilty because we're supposed to be there, I'm supposed to be here, like, just brainstorming yeah. what the art's gonna be. And I'm like, oh my gosh, really? Now explain to me how it works again. Yeah. Show me this chart, and I'm totally geeking out over it. Um, and if you guys haven't checked it out, the performance stage matchmaking insane. stuff is. I'm amazing. actually, uh, I'm actually gonna upload a, an interview as well because I had an interview with Travis today. Oh, that's. Perfect. And uh, he had a lot to say about it and. Uh, especially in terms of how losing a game won't feel as bad anymore if you did well, nonetheless. Yeah. So, for example, if you're if you're the support and you healed out of your mind, it wasn't enough, unfortunately, because your team ended up losing. You are going to lose less MMR than any someone. Let's say if he was just feeding. Yes. Yeah. yeah absolutely. No. Um, and it's like a lot. Lots of heroes. Like there's. The focus of what you're really good at, it's its no longer about winning and losing. That, although that's very, very yes. important. It's no longer just about winning and losing. That's definitely the most important. Um, but if you're like Kerrigan, I play Kerrigan all the time. I'm a level 70 Kerrigan. Um, if you're doing a really, really fantastic job with your CC, the system recognizes you. You're, you're doing your role. Maybe you don't have the like, top damage, 
but you kept people locked down. You, that means you're landing your combos. That nice. means you're doing the work that you need to be doing as a character player. Speaking of doing work, I think we're going to stun oh some yeah. people. There we go. Woo! Triple kill, wonderful comeback. That's what Who's we want to see. Who's the dragon queen now? Yes. <laughs> I mean, still her. Still her. But, <laughs> but now she, she's kind of yeah, Hanzo can't become a queen as much as he would like to. Right, we've got, ten, we've got ten more minutes here. Do we ten want more two? minutes, and we have one more question, one more question. Uh, from the Reddit users that I chose. Okay, hold on. Ah, uh, regular window. That was Rex and Scatter You got it, you got it, you got it. Okay, so Thun Thunder in real life asked, um, please ask Lana for forgiveness because I almost ran into her at a uh, Blizzard tour. You like almost he ran was, over me. Yeah, yeah. He, br he almost ran you over. I think he was doing a tour in the Blizzard HQ or something. Okay. Do you remember I such an incident? In a, did he almost run me over with a with a vehicle? I don't know. As a person, I'm really clumsy and I'm Canadian. <laughs> so if it happened, probably I went, I'm so sorry. And so you're totally forgiven, but am I forgiven? All That's right. Real question. There we go. I'm sorry for being in your way. Good news, Thunder. Lana is <laughs> still loves you. <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay. Um, is there anybody in the chat who might be watching? If yeah. you guys have a question. Yeah, for sure. Um, just um, let us know if you want to know anything about animations uh, in Heroes of the Storm, or maybe just oh. if you're an animator. Oh, cool. Yeah, sorry. I saw some other good questions. I know turrets no longer ammo, but what flow changes? There are links to changes. Uh, I don't know if the there's a link between the turrets and the glows. Um, but, yeah, well there's infinite am ammunition now in the towers. Yep. They don't they run out of ammo. Yep. Uh, the globes, we mentioned it earlier, they now become neutral after four seconds, so people can pick them up from either team. Potentially, if you're winning a lane and pushing with your lane, yep. you're going to get a lot more power with that. But, on top of those things, we also have all those those mercenary changes we didn't yeah. talk about. And oh. so, oh, Woo! sorry. Yeah, mercenary changes really huge. Really huge mercenary changes that are also going to be super impactful for that that laning phase. We really want to have that be like a meaningful moment. Mm -hmm. And so we have what is it? The the knight the, the knight wizard exactly. now emits a spell armor aura. Yeah. So if you are there pushing with your knights rather than letting them go, just be tower fodder and soaking up. Uh, Soaking up shots for you and then letting you play safe. If you push with them, you're getting a boost. It's 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 really good. Really really good. Really it's powerful. Really good. And it makes it, it brings a new strategic component to the game because previously or right now you're just like okay let's get rid of the mercenaries as quickly as we can. We're just gonna throw all the spells at them. Yeah. But now you need to aim a little bit more precisely. You need to aim for the wizard. Yes. Got to make sure that you're getting that yeah. that boost the, en the enemy teams got out of the way. Um, and then alternatively, you want to protect that guy. Exactly. Uh, but him. one of the coolest changes, I think, is the the Hellbats. Now they do, uh, they will do, remove armor from enemy targets, and uh, I think it stacks up to 25 or something like that. Right. I can't think of the exact numbers. But not just to enemy heroes, minions, but also structures. So if you're pushing with those Hellbats, it's removing armor from structures, which is all like a very, very rare thing and a, and a huge advantage. So you yeah. definitely want to... I don't, I don't think we even have a mechanic like that in the game right now. I'm trying to think of one. I just no, you can't remove armor from buildings, as far as I'm aware. So. Um, but the Hellbats, are, they're going to be huge. Getting those at the right time, strategizing, and when you're going to push with them. Uh, and if you're like standing in the lane, the enemies can be taking way more damage if they're standing nice. in the lane. Exactly. So that's fantastic. And now the siege giants, they've always telegraphed their attacks in the lane, but when you're capturing them in the jungle, you can they're telegraphing their attacks. So if you are a skilled and nimble player, yep. you can potentially take an entire mercenary camp without taking... Anyone could do it. Any any, anyone can do it. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a, a really fantastic opportunity for, for your team to really get some solid pushes now. Uh, so those endlessly firing towers, you got yeah. they got more power against them as well. And you know what? I'm really enjoying myself on hands in those situations where you just siege up and you just poke him from afar. Yeah. So good. Okay. You know what? We're, we're gonna we're gonna send some arrows toward you. Woo! You've got a lot of stuff. Whoa! Walking okay. through the dragon. Oh no! <laughs> right down the middle. <laughs> there, like there's Hyperion on the left and, and the dragon <laughs> on the right. But I can just throw my team here this way. Woo. I think we're we're gonna lose this battle though. Probably just gonna run. Sorry. Can we help? Help, maybe. Okay. I think we might be okay. 
Yeah, I think we're okay. We this two. is like a really tense game, actually. It like, is. I've been watching and Back talking. and forth. I'm so impressed with your ability to interview. But like, man, this is this has been a uh, a really a really uh, good matchup here. Okay, okay. Let me see. Can we jump over? Okay, you know what? We're we're just gonna do it for the swag. Right. Oh no! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to be there. You should. That's when you use the sonic arrow. Oh no! I should have scouted first. But I think we're still there we fine. Go. But they're all coming. Oh! You scouted them. You scouted your death. There That's they are. not how to do it with Hanzo. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. Learn and grow, baby. Learn and grow. So, Lana, if you had unlimited resources and you could wish whatever you wanted to, which hero would you like to uh, work on at some point? Can you answer that question, or is it too? It's it's a difficult question to answer, but An I can definitely answer it because I've got thoughts and feelings and opinions as cool. a player, cool, and not as a game developer. Uh, yeah, I think the one thing I've always wanted to bring to the game is a, like, personally, again, I mentioned yeah, this earlier, again. heroes I don't know a whole lot about Power because the uh, they were Control part of uh, one of the universes that the I'm not super well versed in. I would, I see their art around, I love them so much, all I really want to see in the game is a Jedi, personally. Oh, me too! They are so yes. beautiful, they're, like, they're just so cool, such unique yes. silhouettes, and I think it's like an, it would be an animator's dream to be able to work on something like that. So I, I would love to see. I'm down like with you. Whether it's, I mean, also in Legion, World of Warcraft, Drenai plays such a huge role right now. Mm -hmm. Prophet Velen in Worlds of Drenai, we had Marad. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, and my alliance heart just beats beats, beats faster right now. <laughs> I got you. I got you. All right. By the way, we haven't heard any any super loud cheers as of late. I so know. I'm what's concerned. The, what's the score in the grand final the of grand the HC final, right now? It is 1-1. On? Looks like MVP Black one, won one. the last game. With seven, okay. Level 7 versus level 7. MVP Black very, very minutely had an experience. And I have really good eyesight in case anybody's curious. Nice. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's really far away. But it's exciting. Um, oh, man. The Triglav. This is oh, the protector. Oh, get him. oh man. Oh. Uh, you know what? But without the warriors that came from the fight, I think. Oh look at that shield. Just yeah, he's gotta go all the way back. back. He's not coming back. Come on! Woo! Here we go. I think this this could this could be it for the enemy team if you guys play your cards right. Uh, too early, but anyways, okay, you know what? We're just gonna push to a, to a keep. We don't really care about let uh, that, let that guy the protector. Yeah, exactly. We're just going to pu push it in. But it looks like our team still wants to come. Okay. All right. We can't really play. Oh, oh we the shields. Did you see the shields? Oh, it's just so huge. Get vaporized. Oh, no. Oh, no. But so did you. You got so Stitches. greedy. Fala, you were supposed to help us. <laughs> oh, by the way, voice chat, I can tell her right now. Voice chat is going to be implemented, oh. and it's actually here at BlizzCon already. It is. It is so, so exciting. As you can see here, by the way, it was deactivated for streaming purposes because we yep. wanted to hear Lana. <laughs> right. <Sorry. laughs> but you can see. Let's uh, while we're dead. Let's actually take a look at this. Like you can, you can click on that icon. Yep. And you're gonna join the lobby of your team, and you can tell them uh, what to do. You can listen to their advice. It's really sweet. Yeah, and you, you can, can also mute individual players if you th just think like one guy's, you know, you know, out of control. Yeah, somebody just needs to be muted. Yeah. And you can toggle between team and party chat. So team, when you're talking to the whole team, maybe not people you actually know versus your party, so you can just hang out with the ones you're cute with. Um, and I've been playing it on the show floor. We play a couple games. Uh, after the esports uh, e events were all over yesterday, we just sat in line and we played a couple games with people. Yeah. And it is so much fun to hear your whole team explode it when something amazing beautiful. happens. And you know what I had today? I had a Chogal duo no in there. Way. And they were they were role playing a little bit. Like they were really? brother, brother. <laughs> it was amazing. And they were actually uh, using the voice chat to really coordinate their spill their spells really well. So for example when he dropped the bomb, he was like bomb coming, bomb coming. And that was really a it, unique experience. And it just it definitely helps with the coordination yeah. more than anything else. And uh, making sure something's happening. We were playing with a, with a friend and somebody who's not super familiar with the game. And yeah. we had two amazing moments. One, where, she, where uh, she was playing Lucio and we had all just died. And yep. she came after we, like, almost a full team wipe, and then she as Lucio jumps into the middle of the enemy team and goes, let's break it down! Oh. And just threw that sound barrier heroic. That's and we wonderful. Were like, what? 
What are you doing? <laughs> it, is, it was a poetically hilarious moment. And then once again at the end, our core is at 5%. And we almost took down the enemy team oh. because she just rezzed and then oh. landed a perfect sound barrier heroic. We wow. almost turned the tide of the game right at the very end. They still beat us, but uh, having everybody feel excited about the same <laughs> moments and sharing in that excitement, it's, it's just so much it's fun. It's so cool. So much fun. And I really think that you chose the right moment to release this feature mm -hmm. because a lot of people are like, when were we going to have voice check, guys? When were we going to voice check? But now with the skill-based progression system, yes. being able to communicate with your teammates a little bit more in detail is really going to potentially boost your own performance and then you're going to get uh, better rankings. Absolutely. I know what I, I play a lot of Dahaka. Um, and I always get uh, yeah. ragged on by people because that you only play. You didn't pick up the pulse. Oh, okay. yeah, I was going to say. Um, they're like, you only play heroes you animated. And <laughs> that's not necessarily true, but it also is. Um, uh, but when I'm playing the Haka, there's a lot of times where I'll ping pretty hard. I'm like, I'm going to drag this person. But the team doesn't see the pings. There's so much going on. And, you know, there's, there's sound, there's, there's cacophony, and it could, could get busy. Yeah. Um, but being able to be like, everybody, I'm going to drag me. And then everybody can say, okay, we got you, and, j and jump on that target and really capitalize on this one. Yeah. Be, uh, be good. Hey, could this guy leave me alone here? <laughs> he oh, knows. He knows that you're dangerous. I was going to say, make him. He's going to get his now. Look at those marks going. Oh, 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 no. Oh, stitches. Don't leave they me hanging. You. They need you to take them the shield. Wow. Oh. Wow. That, Whoa. a new break with an MVP play right there. It's a one-for-one -one trade, but I think we're still in a pretty good position. I think you are, too. Yep. He's got it. Rancor, if he Rancor. falls, that could be huge. The water dragon goes down. Double water dragon, the Ooh, double dragon. Lily, Lily putting in work <laughs> for your team right now. And speaking of her, the little panda and also got a rework. Oh, uh, what? Yeah. You can see a Lily rework here. She's got a couple of new talents. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. wow. I'm uh, not actually. Uh, I was, uh, so I'm thinking about all the things that I went through when I, we were planning for BlizzCon. I'm not super well versed in in a lot of the uh, smaller or larger changes that right. that that went in on that end. I'm very focused on the art side of everything, but I guess that's something that we can be looking forward to. Yeah, really good. And uh, Lydia's, you know, she, she's always been one of those heroes. You know what? I'm gonna shoot my arrow all the way from the base. Oh yes. Okay, let, let's see how much damage that's gonna make it work. Stay there. Work. Stay Come there, on. Hanzo. Stay there. Come on! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted that. Oh my goodness, it would have been so amazing. It was great because the crowd over there yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Come on! Never lucky, but we're still sieging up. We got the keep here. You know We've what? Got a catapult. We, we could just hold this one. I, I I don't think my team really needs to be there anymore. Come on! Come on! Got another kill. We're gonna lose one. I think we're gonna go for the protector. Worth. Yeah, I think we're gonna go for the protector here. We got it's it. still we gotta clear a little bit. Ooh, we don't have any more of. Oh wait, I, I chose play of the game. Uh, I totally didn't talk about it. I can activate to teleport to the dragon's arrow's location. So I could have totally done that. Holy moly! Oh, I that totally was done the it. chance. Dang. We're, we're gonna remember that. Okay, let's wait for this guy to show up here. No more shields. There we go. Oh man, that is a powerful battle. <laughs> I feel like that's why Anubarak's so mad at you, because he knows. Yeah, he just knows. Robbing him of those shields. <laughs> All right, okay. and says we'll already use Rhaegar, not in a good spot. Not in a good spot. You don't know when this with those dragons. Anubarak getting pretty low on mana here. We got Hanzo coming in, stealing those shields every second. Okay, there's the enemy Hanzo now, though. Was that was that Lana casting? I could. <laughs> Maybe it we was. We would have more of those. More of those, the casting? Yeah. Oh, goodness. We'll see about that. Okay, the Nubarak is down. Here it comes. Hanzo is low. Stunned oh. from afar with the teleport <laughs> and the storm bow. Whoa! I, I didn't fantastic even, I, I didn't even know you could do that after the stun was going through. That was amazing. Wow. That In was style. And then did you leap over the thing? Over the, the wall, too. too. Oh, my gosh. Uh, wow. Kendrick with the flare. <laughs> Dang. MVP. Coming in, we got the Triglob Protector. If only we had the skill-based progression system. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one. All right. Yeah, somebody's got to clip that. That was beautiful. Yeah, somebody was. Uh, somebody needs to clip that. And uh, we have the Cleansing Flame. We have, but where's she gonna land? Safely back in the base. 
Yep. She's coming out. She's pretty Just go for the core right now, guys. Now. Let's go for the core. Hit that core. Protect her. Get off those minions. There we go. You got it. All right. What's your, what's your, what would be your hypothetical HGC team name? In this uh, excuse me, what was that? What would be your hypothetical HGC team name for today? <sighs> The game at BlizzCon, oh, where you God. dominated with that level 20 talent. It was on the way to 22. Hanzo Main, step one. Uh, started at the bottom, now we Hanzo Main. <laughs> Coming in for the win against the other people. Playing here at BlizzCon, live from the show floor. Here we go. Play of you the game. Play of the game, absolutely. Fantastic All right. work. So guys, that was it for today. That was it for the stream live from BlizzCon. I really hope you enjoyed the new heroes, Alex Strasser and uh, Hanzo. We saw a couple of cool animations, new abilities, new skills, and most importantly, we had a wonderful co-host. Lana, hello. Lana. Uh, so much fun to be with you here. Thank it, you so much for It was actually the first time we met too. It was, yeah. yeah. And it was super fun. I'm so glad. I actually watched your stream probably the last couple of weeks oh. leading up to BlizzCon Collection. Nice. So I, so I knew what I was getting into, you know? Want to nice. make sure nice. that you're going to be nice to me. And cool. And you there. know what we're up to now. Oh, it is time to watch the grand finals. Fnatic versus MPP Black. MPP Black just took game number three. Time to see how this pans out. Yeah. The only Western hope left, Fnatic, guys. We're going to watch that. It's just a few steps away, and so should you. Twitch.tv slash BlizzHeroes. Until then, I'll be back on Monday with the next stream, so keep an eye out. And Lana, once again, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for showing up. And uh, yep. have a good one, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.